This video is brought to you by Greater Commons. Greater learning, greater opportunities, greater life. Visit us at greatercommons.com. There's a lot of people who are on Windows machines. Some people are saying they had some difficulty doing some of the terminal stuff that we looked at last week. And uh, for the terminal stuff, I want you, if you're on Windows, to install Git. Just Git. So go to, go to Git, and here's like Git. And Git is what GitHub is built upon. And you could go to Downloads, and you could download it for Windows. And you, uh, you install it on Windows. And then I don't need it to actually start. Uh, there we go. And then uh, when you're installing it, you want to choose this option. Run Git and include Unix tools for the Windows command prompt. OK? So we're going to do that. You're going to see me do that right now. And I'm on a Mac, so I can't show you if you're watching this video. So I'm just going to pause this video. And uh, I will say to whoever's watching this video, actually, I'll put the resources next. So you don't have to go see me go get them. All right. So when you're doing that git install, you should also do a git checkout here, git checkout window style, commit Unix style as you go through the git install. And then you also want to use git. Uh, you want to use the minty, min tty, teletypewriter. And uh, you want to use that as you go through your install. And then start git bash. So go to the search area in Windows. And uh, inside Windows search area, um, you type in, so where's the search area? Windows search. Like down here, or whatever, you've got the search bar wherever you click start in the low left corner. You just type in uh, git bash. And then you can use that bash. You can do everything but like nano or stuff like that. All right. 